Well, look, it's uh, good to be here at uh, Royal Air Australian Air Force Base Fairbairn uh, with uh, Minister David Johnson, uh, with the Chief of the Air Force, with representatives of the manufacturer of the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter, uh, which uh, will be in operation with the Royal Australian Air Force uh, by 2020. Uh, I'm very pleased to say that the government has decided to acquire an additional 58 of these state-of-the-art aircraft. This is one of the largest defence purchases that Australia has ever made. It will ensure our edge as a regional power. It will also, as well as maintaining the effectiveness of our Air Force, it will also be a very substantial boost to jobs and technology here in Australia. Air superiority is a fundamental pillar of air power, but more so it is an pre essential prerequisite for the Australian way of modern joint warfare. Um, without it, our nation's ground and naval forces uh, would be required to fight in very radically different ways. But gaining and maintaining air superiority is not easy. It requires uh, trained, very proficient and ready aircrew. It also requires large numbers of very capable and technically superior aircraft. With today's commitment, the Air Force can confidently introduce three operational squadrons of F-35s and a training squadron to replace the uh, F-18. Uh, we will introduce the first squadron, which will be number three squadron, it will be fully operational in 2020. The F-18s will be withdrawn over the period 21 to 22, and we'll have the full F-35 capability in 2023. Air combat capability is the cornerstone of our national security and the cornerstone of our air defence capability. This aircraft is peerless. It has no identifiable rival in the air at the moment. Uh, we see it dominating the skies for the next at least 10 to 15 years. We will have this aircraft out to 2050. But may I say it's not just about the aircraft. Today we have Squadron Leader Andrew Jackson, Squadron Leader David Bell with us, our first two JSF pilots. This is about them as much as about the aircraft we are giving them the best possible chance of survival and victory.